Hello, guys, and welcome. I hope that you're doing well. My name is UGD King, or I play 4K, AK, I play 8K, AK, I play 16K. And during this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to fix vsync on issue and how to turn it off vsync off in contra operation galuga okay it's the contra operation galuga game was released in 2024 it's kind of remastered version i would say should be called remastered version of the contra the classic contra from 1990s on the 8-bit console first time was introduced which is amazing game I'm going to do a review I'm going to show you 4k 6k 7k 8k 10k 12k and 16k video resolutions because I'm a big fan this was one of my first games uh, the first uh, platformers that I uh, played as games um, and it was on the 8-bit dandy Nintendo uh, console Okay, it wasn't introduced a classic version on PCs, but uh, right now it's available even the classic version on PC And I'm also going to record that in all those type of resolutions 4k 6k 7k 8k 10k 12k and 16k video resolution But today I'm going to show you guys how to fix the issue So if you're gonna go in Nvidia driver, you will try to mess around with Nvidia driver nothing will happen there and you're just curious how you can fix this and if you're gonna start the game over here it says I just open up in 4k video resolution which is 3840 by 2160 at 60 Hertz and uh, as you can see game supports all the way to 16k video resolution I already tested and I'm going to demonstrate it to you guys all the way to 16k video resolution we're gonna go through all of those resolutions that I'm showing to you right now but uh it lock at 30 hertz but it doesn't matter 30 hertz uh it's still going to this it's a video it's going to display for you nicely so how to fix that as you can see game doesn't support a lot of resolutions at 60 hertz somehow it doesn't support it's supporting 1080p at 60 hertz but if you have the display screen 2560 by 1440 which is a lot of gamers do it's only supports 30 hertz not even 60 hertz so and it's going to be locked at 30 hertz or 60 hertz and this thing is locked and there is nothing what you can do in the game option this is a bad uh, game development right here they're using the unity 3d game engine and uh, I'm going to use the trick that I used in a lot of games before so how to do that because uh, it, uh, I find out it, about it a long time ago and it's working here and as you can see there is nothing what you can do it's still going to be 60 fps so when you load up the contra and in the menu if it says 60 fps or when you're going to go story mode and uh, you're gonna go let's, let's let me go ahead and show it to you right here at this sprite when you're selecting the characters it's still going to say 60 fps or when you're gonna go ahead and load up uh, the game during the um, uh, rendered within the game engine using the Unity 3D game engine, the uh, introduction 3D scene, it's not preloaded video, it's rendering in real time 3D. It's going to be unlocked or maybe can be locked. In most cases it's going to be unlocked, but then it's going to be locked after you're gonna start the game. Let me show it to you right here when your character appears. Everything will be locked at 60 FPS and there is no way to fix this. So let me show you how to fix this guys. If you're gonna go to Nvidia driver, mess it over there, there is nothing of you know will be available for you and nothing can can fix it for you so how to how to fight this how to fix this pretty simple uh, you gotta open the uh, Google Chrome if you don't have a Google Chrome go ahead and install it you gotta open Google Chrome this is the, going to be the only solution open up the Google Chrome let me go ahead and open up the Google Chrome do not load up the web pages and anything like that go under the download section so over. under the download sections Okay, and uh, download some files or do at least something, download something from any website that, that you, that's safe for you. Couple downloads and scroll it down a little bit like this. Scroll it down. After you're going to scroll it down a little bit, um, it's going to work. Let me go ahead and demonstrate it to you. Let me close down. 
and it's going to unlock see that 275 243 and now it's getting back to 60 again so you gotta bring the Google Home and the background you're gonna bring it up okay like this and do not zoom it out uh, I mean do not minimize it make sure it's running on the background and go ahead and open up the game again right here it's unlocked now 278 279 281 so um, how I find out um, I find out not in this game in a different game and the game was also um, running on lock FPS but at some point it also doesn't have the video options at some point it was also the platformer using the unity game engine at some point it, it was locking to be sync to whatever the hertz at that resolution supported by the ma monitor and whatever your desktop set and whatever maximum hertz of the uh, refresh rate that your monitor supports which is 60 hertz in my case in this resolution playing on the 8k uhd smart samsung tv and it's going to be locked like this okay and um nothing what you can do and it's using it's not using the 32-bit um, compiler on C++ it's using the AMD compiler the brand new one for the unity and they compile it with that compiler and it, it's kind of hard to hack it to fix this and to uh, recompile and uh, decompile the executable file and recompile it while make sure it's off so this is the only way guys make sure that chrome google home and the background and you're gonna unlock to whatever your fps is capable right now my gpu 95 percent 96 percent do not load any youtube videos because what's going to happen is going to lock up and it's going to eat up some performance load up the downloads and it's all going to be gucci 95 percent that means that i'm uh cpu bottleneck and whatever my cpu is capable to push the titan rtx under this type of resolution which is 4k video resolution i'm going to load up at 1920 by 1080 at 100 percent gpu utilization will be 1440p will be 100 percent gpu utilization however my intel i9 9900k that i'm using today and titan rtx video card by nvidia intel i9 9900k cannot in this particular game fully utilize the gpu of the whole 4,300, uh, uh, 4,608 CUDA cores on my NVIDIA Titan RTX video card. That's why it's 95%. Browser is not going to eat up your performance. Don't worry. If you're not going to load some complicated website or some YouTube player. Another thing, if it's still not going to work like that, most likely you're not using the GPU acceleration under your browser, under Google Chrome. Let me show you how to fix that another thing so go ahead and open up go to settings click right here there is going to be a button right here you click here and uh, you pretty much you're gonna go ahead and uh, click the settings right here it's going to be settings button click on this settings button and it's gonna pull up the menu like this go ahead and uh, scroll down all the way to system make sure the Google Home can have a different user interface in the future but this is how you're gonna do it go ahead scroll down to system click on system and make sure that user graphics acceleration when available is on make sure it's on so downloads is going to use it okay and uh, pretty much whatever Google Chrome is going to load up any pages right now it's loading any HTML code it's going to use the web GL API and it's going to utilize some GPU what I'm thinking that Unity 3D Game Engine is uh, recognizing the WebGL API and just because the Unity 3D, even this one in 2024, is still recognizing WebGL and you can compile your games on the iOS, Android, uh, PC for Windows, Macintosh, Linux, and WebGL for the browser. Just to run it whatever browser uh, you have and whatever the WebGL supported on the GPU or on that device mobile device handheld device computer it's going to use over. that GPU and I believe just because it's uh, thinking maybe you're running the game under the WebGL and API even still it's recognizing the DirectX API but it's thinking maybe you 
extend the game with WebGL API like you compile it for multiple versions and just because it's recognizing the WebGL API developers of the Contra Operation Galuga game did not uh, pretty much write a function when it's going to lock the vSync under all kind of APIs WebGL, DirectX API, right now they're using DirectX 11 API and this is why it happens guys alright so as you can see it's using the DirectX 11 API the data at the right top corner is dynamically recognized and uh, every single half of the second and it's correct every single value is uh, demonstrated keep in mind that I'm going to as again test this game because I'm, I'm in love with this game this was my first platformer shooter platformer third person uh, platformer shooter and an 8-bit uh, console Nintendo and Dandy for those who Rem remember those times in 1990s so I'm going to test it all kind of different resolutions will be available over the hdking.com but pretty much everything is guys um, was explained to you in nice and easier language to understand for any beginner so there is no other fix will, will work unless you can uh, uh, decompile and recompile the uh, executable file and fix that throughout the unity game code but as again they're using the md64 com uh, compiler and it's kind of hard to crack them uh, as 32-bit um, compiler for the unity all right pretty much thank you so much for watching don't forget to smash that like button this is very important so a lot of people can unlock above 60 fps it could be 60 fps even on 120 hertz monitors or it could be 120 hertz and some folks it could be 30 hertz and uh, this is how you unlock the whole fps let's say you're doing the pc benchmarking or you're doing all kind of different benchmarking and you want to see what the maximum fps your device your computer your handheld device your mobile device capable and supporting that this game will be runnable on uh, uh, Apple iOS devices under Windows 12 and Android mobile devices, tablets, and phones under Windows 12 when Windows 12 will be released. So we're going to compare this on the mobile devices over hdking.com as well. But this is, guys, the very important information. So don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe for more tutorials, for more guides that truly working applied with a lot of intellect and explain in easiest language as possible we're gonna also develop games together I'm about to start developing my game so you better subscribe a lot of tutorials a lot of gameplays and keep in mind that I am UGD King, aka I play 4K, aka I play 8K, aka I play 16K. Why? Because I was the first pioneer in 2016 that demonstrated to you the 16K video resolution gameplay on my four Titan X Maxwell GP architecture Great video time, so. cards. This game supports 16K video resolution. Titan RTX is the first NVIDIA video card, a flagship of NVIDIA Turing GP architecture, flagship of the first generation of RTX video cards, such as RTX 20 series video card. Titan RTX is the flagship of it, and it supports 16K video resolution. Do that, it has the first video card by the NVIDIA that featured gaming video card, that featured 24 gigabyte of video RAM. And I'm going to demonstrate, guys, 16K video resolution on a single Titan RTX, and just because it's running DirectX, 3d 11 api i will try to demonstrate nvidia sli with two titan rtx video cards in two way sli thank you so much for watching have a good morning good day good afternoon hopefully i fixed your issue you just smash that like button for you know appreciation share it with your friends and i will see you guys till the next time because the steam community and all kind of different forms all what they do they just pretty much harassing the users that asking this question and not answering and uh, even they don't know the answer but all what they do they just harassing and uh, um, doing all kind of different uh, strategies to uh, get rid of the user from the forum which is pretty bad those communities are pretty bad so most likely I'm not gonna share this video on the Steam but you can share this video on the Steam you have my permission share it everywhere where you like thank you so much for watching have a good day